Scrolling TikTok shorts and reels have become a daily standard. Our attention span is basically gone. After just one second, we can already decide whether we swipe away or we keep watching. And sadly, it's only getting worse. Luckily, I know five strong editing tricks that will make sure the viewer will stay on your video. Trick number one, looping your content. So here you can see one of my shorts. The reason it went viral is because it has a seamless loop that is really hard to spot. This right here is the beginning of the short. Instead of just dragging it to the start, we're gonna let it play right before it ends. To do this, snap it to the last clip of your video and set a cut at the very end of the short. Then take the rest of it and drag it to the beginning of the video. And now it's already hard to spot the end because there's simply no cut. The next thing you want to loop as well is of course the audio, starting with the speech. To do that, set a cut mid-sentence. That will make it impossible for the people to spot the end of your video because you aren't done speaking yet. Move the second clip to the beginning of your short as well and there you go. Remove the tracking points with a mask and this is how I made myself walk on a beam in the sky. Almost perfect. Yes, indeed, I said almost because we're not done yet. There's one more thing you can loop. The music. If you drag the music underneath your short like this, you'll make it super easy for the viewer to spot the loop. Instead, set a cut somewhere in the middle, preferably on a kick or snare drum. Snap the cut of the song to the last clip of your video. Then move the second part in front of the first part and extend it until they both snap into each other. Or to each other. Now the loop is perfect, but we still need to fix that little transition in the middle. To do that, select a cut and hit Ctrl plus Shift plus D. This will add the default crossfade transition. Now simply drag it out so that the transition becomes unhearable. By the way, you can change the default transition length by right-clicking it and choosing default transition. Whatever length you type in here, the transition will be the next time you apply it. And now your video is a perfect loop. And that means trick number two. When you make a tutorial, like I do a lot, you need to record your screen. Now, I I don't know if you know this, but when you upload a screen recording to TikTok, it will look like this. It's a, it's crap. Let's take this color grading tutorial as an example. People don't need all this information. They just need the video and the color wheel. To make it look very pretty, follow my steps. In the effect library, find the crop effect and drag it on your clip. Go to the effect controls and click on the crop effect. That way these crop lines will appear. Now drag the line so that only the color wheel with the slider is visible. Okay, now go back to the timeline and hold down alt. Then by dragging your track one track up, it will duplicate. Head back to the effect controls and reset the crop effect by clicking the reset button. Select the effect again and now go back to the program monitor. Make a selection around the video and now you have these two blocks. Next, go to the timeline and click the rectangle tool. Then draw a rectangle in the program monitor that covers the entire video. By doing that, a graphic layer will appear. Now you gotta make sure that the graphic layer is placed underneath the cropped videos, just like this. Of course, the color of the rectangle doesn't match with your Premiere interface. To fix that, select the graphic layer and go to the effect controls. In the shape properties, you will find the fill color. Select the color picker and click on a color of Premiere. Then click on OK. Now the colors are perfectly matched. Now you need to reposition and rescale the video so that they fit inside the frame. To top it off, find the drop shadow effect and drag it on both your videos. That way you can create some depth. Awesome, now there is something you need to keep in mind when doing this. When you're uploading to TikTok, you have this overlay that can block a lot of elements in your videos. If you put stuff behind it, it becomes hard to read or see, and then people will swipe away. Now, to prevent this from happening, make a screenshot on your phone when scrolling on TikTok. Once you have it, you can drag the screenshot in the timeline and make sure you lay it on top of your clips. Now, in the program monitor, click the plus button. This opens up the button editor. Find the rulers icon and drag it next to the other icons. Then click on OK. Now, click it to enable the rulers. Now, you can see two of them, one on top and one on the side. Simply drag two guides into the program monitor and match them with the buttons from the TikTok overlay. This will create kind of a safe zone. Now, all you gotta do is make sure you don't put any text or anything important inside these safe zones. As long as you do that, you're good. By the way, if you're new to Premiere, it can look very overwhelming. I spent years learning Premiere Pro and I gotta say, it was a bumpy road. Now, you don't have to do that. Seriously, please don't, because you can learn Premiere Pro entirely in just three hours. With our beginner course, you will learn all the panels in Premiere and how to perform advanced edits using the toolbar. Editing with masks, blending techniques, custom animations, and so much more. After watching this course, you will have the core fundamentals of a successful video editor. You will possess 
has all the secrets to edit your videos from start to finish. But that's not all. On top of that, we also have a Premiere Pro Advanced course. Now, especially for you guys, we've put them both in a booster bundle and applied a 50% discount. I mean, you can literally skip years and years of practice. A lot of you guys already took the course and the reviews are super, super positive. Thank you so much for that. This is the key to become an unstoppable video editor without any limits. So if you seriously want to level up your editing skills, take advantage of the Premiere Pro Booster Bundle by clicking the link in the description down below. And now back to Premiere. For the next trick, we're going to use some Adobe AI. So we have this very cool video, but it's in a landscape mode and you don't want to go every single frame to match in the vertical sequence. Instead, right click the sequence in the project window and choose auto reframe sequence. Now this window will pop up. You can change the name to vertical or something like that. Now it's super important that you change the aspect radio to vertical 9 by 16. Next, depending on the amount of movement in your video, you can choose a motion track setting. I'll just go with default. Now this one is important. If you choose the first one, Premiere will remove your current movement keyframes and create it so. This is what we want in this case. But if you want to keep your motion properties, choose Nest Clips. That way Premiere will apply new motion properties on top of your keyframes. Once you decide it, click on OK. When it's done, you can see the keyframes in the effect controls on the auto reframe effect. Now don't be afraid to move some keyframes around. And this is the result. That is awesome. Now, I think you're ready for trick number five, adding captions. Please don't type in your captions one by one. That would be a complete waste of time. Premiere can actually generate them in just a few clicks. Go to the Windows menu on top and click on the bottom. Find the text window. Once it's open, go to the transcript and open up the menu on the top right. Choose Generate Static Transcript. Here you can select one of the available languages and choose the track in the timeline. Once that's done, click on Transcribe. Now let Premiere do its thing and when it's ready, you can adjust the mistakes by changing the text in here. Now open up the menu again and click on create captions. Here you can change some settings such as the maximum length in characters. Now make sure this is short because you don't want a lot of text to cover up your video. Same thing counts for duration. Set the lines to single and click on create captions. Now these captions look like TV subtitles. They just aren't good enough. We still need to style and animate them just like Mr. Beast and other big creators. So to continue the lesson, click the video on my left. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.